From high-rise skyscrapers to busy street markets and stalls of delicious food, Kuala Lumpur is the place to be. So, take out your pen and paper and let's dive right into our top 10 things to do in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. All of these tourist spots you can easily get around using public transportation within Kuala Lumpur. If time is on your side and you would like to see destinations outside of the main city of Kuala Lumpur, then we have locations such as Genting Highlands and Malacca that you can explore for a day trip or perhaps even an overnight trip. If you would like to know more about the area, then you can check out our travel blog right below in our description box. Let's get into our first recommendation. Number one, Batu Caves. This is one of Kuala Lumpur's most iconic attractions, located just 13 kilometers north of the city. Batu Cave is where you will see a series of caves and cave temples, with the main one being the Temple Cave, where you will see very colorful flights of stairs. And to reach the top, you will have to climb 272 colorful steps by entering the main entrance, where the massive golden statue of Lord Murugan. It is one of the tallest of its kind in the world, making it a popular pilgrimage site for Hindus, especially during the Taipusam festival. Inside, you will see a massive cave entrance, where a colorful Hindu temple is situated. Because this is a religious site, make sure to dress modestly with your shoulders and knees covered. You can also visit early in the morning or late afternoon to avoid the crowd. And lastly, better watch out for the wandering monkeys. Number two, Cave Villa. Cave Villa is located at the west side base of Batu Cave with an entrance fee of five ringgit or $1.15. As you enter, you'll come across bird stands where you can take pictures with parrots. And right in the middle is a stage where you will enjoy a cultural dance. Cave in Cave Villa is a themed cave showcasing a mix of art, culture, and history. You will enjoy the murals from walls to ceiling and also statues depicting stories from Hindu mythologies. The cave is very colorful. I think it's one of the most colorful caves I've ever seen. This cave is divided into two sections, with the first section being the statues and the second section being the entrance to their cave of reptiles, a conservation area for snakes, lizards, and spiders, among others. You also get to take a picture with a snake over your shoulders. When visiting to this part of the cave, let's be mindful and respectful of their space. When you exit at the east side, you will see a pond with turtles and fish swimming around. A mini waterfall and a colorful facade of the temple. Number three, Petaling Street Market. Petaling Street Market is located in Kuala Lumpur's Chinatown. It's one of the city's most vibrant and bustling markets, which is known as the go-to destination for both locals and tourists looking for affordable goods and delicious street food. The market offers a mix of everything, from street vendors that sell knockoff branded items from bags, clothes, and even electronics. There are tons of souvenir stalls as well, like keychains, t-shirts, or fridge magnets to bring back to your family and friends. And if you get a little hungry, there are street food like ice cream stand and even the popular mochi stalls among others. So make sure you come prepared with your haggling skills. Now, if you're getting hungry from walking around, then it's time for a meal. Number four, Mi Tarik Restaurant. 
This is one of the most favorite halal Chinese Muslim local restaurants in Chinatown. It's a favorite supper place within the area, with its delicious bowls of hand-pulled noodles with succulent beef slices sprinkled with cilantro and scallion. Top it up with 12 pieces of steamed or fried dumplings. Give it a try if you're around the area. Not too far away from Pedaling Street is our next recommendation, Kwai Chai Hong and Mural Streets. This beautifully restored alley brings the 1960s era to life where you will see charming heritage buildings and interactive murals. It's just a short walk from Pedaling Street Market and into a small alleyway where you'll immediately see street walls filled with artistic murals. It's a fascinating sight to see. Unfortunately, when we came here, it was closed for an event. Better check for any events as well before heading down here. Here's a bonus tip for you if you're around Kwai Chai Hong area. Go and visit Ching Ching Cafe by Pandan Republic. This cozy and modern cafe is located near Kwai Chai Hong. It's known for its creative take on traditional Malaysian flavors, particularly its pandan-infused desserts and drinks. They even offer a pandan-flavored ice cream cone. And their ice cream window is super cute with a yellow wall facade. If you're enjoying this video and find it informative, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss our new episodes. Let's head back to the video. If you want to buy souvenirs or local handicrafts, then our next location is for you. Central Market. Central Market is the place to be if you want to see more arts and crafts from batik items to locally made jewelry. This place used to be a wet market back in the day and was transformed into a bustling arts and crafts hub. You will find a variety of traditional crafts, textiles, souvenirs, and even local cuisines from their Makan Hall. So, make sure to come here if you want more locally made souvenirs. This is where I got my postcards. And just right outside the Central Market, you'll see Kasturi Walk. It's an open-air pedestrian street. They have many stalls from jewelry and food stalls. Feeling hungry? Let's go to our next location. Number 7. Jalan Alor Food Street. This food street is one of the most scrumptious streets in Kuala Lumpur. It's a famous street because of its diverse array of restaurants and street foods, locally and internationally. The crowd here is crazy, so keep a lookout for your companions. Number 8. Petronas Twin Tower The Petronas Twin Towers are iconic skyscrapers located in Kuala Lumpur. It has a height of 452 meters. They were the world's tallest building from 1998 to 2004. You can go up to the observatory deck at the top to see the stunning views of the city skyline. But for today, we will show you the photo taking area with the Petronas Twin Tower. The key here is to come either early in the day or at night when the tower is illuminated. And it's the perfect background to your Instagram posts. Find a perfect spot and use a wide-angle lens or 0.5 lens when using your phone. Now, if you're interested in getting out of the busy city, our next two destinations are day trip spots that can be reached from Kuala Lumpur in two hours or less. Number 9. Genting Highlands Genting Highlands is a popular resort city located in the mountains of Malaysia known for its cool climate and entertainment activities suited for everyone. It's situated about an hour's drive from Kuala Lumpur and is renowned for its theme parks, shopping, and scenic views. 
To get here, you can go to KL Central, where you can get a direct bus to the Highlands, or simply book a ticket online. Redbus is a good website to go to. For the best time to see the scenic view or do an outdoor activity, visit around March to September when the weather is at least more pleasant and suitable for outdoor activities. You will enjoy riding cable cars, theme parks, or shopping among many others. Moving on to our last destination of the day. Number 10, Malacca. Malacca is a historic city destination in Malaysia, known for its UNESCO World Heritage Site. You will see a blend of Portuguese, Dutch, and British influences. If you love history, then this day trip is the one for you. From Kuala Lumpur, it'll take at least two hours by bus to get to Malacca Central Bus Terminal. From there, you can get a grab ride to the Dutch Square, where the main attractions are. Many of the attractions are within walking distance from each other and can be done in one day. However, if you wish to split the things to do and see more attractions outside the Dutch Square area, then it's also great as an overnight stay. If you want a more detailed guide on what are the things you can do in Genting Highlands and Malacca, then check out the links down below. Hey, I've got something for you. If you love staying organized during your trip, then check out our new Notion travel template. You can easily track all of your current and future travels in one simple dashboard. For each destination, there's a spot for your travel overviews, notes, journal entries, and even a trip gallery to save your memories. It will make your travel planning a breeze Check it out in the link in the description box below. Let's get back to the video. Well, there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Kuala Lumpur. There are many things to do within the city and even a few hours away from the city. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If there's one you enjoy that we haven't mentioned, then leave a comment below to let us know. We love more recommendations. Once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My name is Blue and this is Blue's Travel Bites where we share on what are the best things to do and places to eat to make your travel experience one of a kind. Don't forget to tickle that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos coming up. Until then, I'll catch you on our next episode.